Welcome, in front of me is a Hafuri GT20 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode and also get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you just don't know. Now with that being said, I'm gonna begin by locking the device just so you can see that I do have a pattern set right over here. And I'm gonna progress from here as though I don't know this pattern. So number one, we will need to hold our power button and select power off. And when the device turns off, hold your power button and volume. I believe it's up. We'll see in a second. Just wait for this to turn off. So I'm gonna hold power key and volume up. And this boots us into boot mode. Now in here you want to select recovery mode, which I need to look closer is the first option. So just make sure that this arrow right here jumps all the way to the top by pressing volume up and then press volume down to confirm it. Now next thing we'll see is Android with no command. So to get past this, hold your power button and press volume up once. And this will take us to the recovery mode and in here using this time around both volume keys to navigate up or down, depending on which one you press, you want to select Wipe Data Factory Reset. Once it's selected, confirm it with your power button, then select uh, whatever that is. It looks like it's in Spanish, but just make sure you select the second option and confirm it. Now at the bottom you'll see formatting data and in a second we should see Data Wipe Complete. Yep, NATO wipe complete, at which point reboot system now will be selected by default, so press your power button once again to initiate the reboot, which will then also continue factory resetting your device in the background. So it will take it a little bit longer to boot back up, but once it's finished, we'll be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And that actually went super quick. So as you can see, it's already finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, with that being said, uh, in case of my device, it's actually FRP locked, which you can see with this little lock right here. And what that means is that I will need to verify the previously used pattern or in my case pattern, but it could obviously be also pin or password or the Google account. Now, without knowing either one of those, I basically won't be able to finish up the setup. Now, luckily, I do have a method of bypassing this so for everyone who is interested in how you can bypass this frp lock i'll be making a separate video for you now with that being said with this one uh hopefully you found this very helpful if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching